become the winner, which is what is wonderful in life because everybody feels looser. And live like a winner too. I was the queen. Like everyone else who has seen Wild Wild Country, I was intrigued by the fearless Sheila. I have served 39 months in prison and that should be enough. This is Bhagwan Rajneesh, a popular Indian guru who ran a commune in Oregon in the early 1980s. 15,000 dedicated followers gave away their wealth to build a city for him. A Netflix documentary reveals the secrets of the Bhagwan and his personal secretary. Ma Anand Sheila was the mastermind behind the Guru's success. And I wondered if she had changed. Was she happy? And does she have any regrets? Sheila invited me to her home and I found out. Bhagwan had a good carrot in front of his people. Meditation and enlightenment. When he had enough or when he wanted to help me with finances, so my work becomes a little easier. He dangled the carrot of enlightenment. He declared few people enlightened. It was a hoax. In that sense, yes. But these were the same people who ran after this hoax. So don't just blame Bhagwan, blame the same people. I was never interested in his power and his position. What were you interested in, Sheila, then? Why were you there? Bhagwan. My love for him. No other reason. And sex was never an issue between us. I had enough lovers of my own. After years as his closest confidant, the inseparable Bhagwan and Sheila fell out. Bhagwan accused her of being the mastermind behind a series of crimes. Sheila, a former secretary of the Bhagwan Rajneesh, faces charges of fraud and attempted murder in Oregon. My only question to her was, why? But you know, they were innocent people. I mean, why? I don't want to discuss for only one reason. I have served 39 months in prison, and that should be enough. People cannot punish me rest of my life, but mentality of the people, they only want to go on on scandals, because their lives are full of scandals. Do you think it was a scandal? Well, Bhagwan created enough scandal. And I am courageous enough to say that. I even told him on his face, whoever wants to accuse me. I have done no criminal act. And I look in your eyes and I say it with conviction. Same conviction how I had loved Bhagwan. And saddest moment of my life was when I heard that Bhagwan gave in to his anger so badly against me. There is no logic. And you want logical answer? It cannot happen. Mm -hmm. And you have all made up your mind that Radnishis were wrong for exercising. No, I'm asking you. Well, I'm telling you, but you're not ready to accept my answer. Better to leave the theme here. Over two decades on, Sheila lives in Switzerland, where she manages two care homes. I live a simple life because what I have the experience under my belt. No other woman can say that they have such experience. 
Yeah. I enjoy working. I enjoy being with people. Schön, bravo, bravo. There is nothing different. There I was working with certified sane people. Here I work with certified sick people. Good morning. People are the same. People's being is the same. When existence and nature has so much trust in me, people can say what they want to. Regardless of what people think of her, it's really hard to know who the real Sheila is. 30 years ago, this woman was found guilty of poisoning people. I don't regret. I will never regret. She says she has no regrets. But is this new life Sheila's way of redeeming herself?